All right, Kenman here, and today we have another Kaiser Fixed Blade brought to you by Ken Fixed himself. That guy, whew. This is another knife he has donated to the channel for a giveaway. Um, giveaway will be coming up, or if I don't get this out, it will have already happened. But uh, we got a nice knife to look at here. Compliments of Ken Fixed himself. Let's get into it. It's a Kaiser. All right. Let's get to it. Who has seen a couple of the awesome box on the floor? Um, fixed blades that Ken Fixed has donated to the channel. Very gracious of him. Uh, also, a couple of you out there have won. I've got a couple of these. Someone else is going to win this one right here. Or they already have. <laughs> Talking about the future or the past. Sure. All right. What do we got? This is the Kaiser Cadix. Is that how it's pronounced? Or Kabox. Kadox, cat, C-A-B-O-X. Little dyslexic here. Bag on the floor. The Kaiser Kabox. There, it says right there, Kabox. Boom. All right, let's get this out of the way for a moment. Just take a quick look. Check this fixed out. Oof. Oh, that feel in the hand. This is a little beefier. Solid, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, I don't say full size, I guess, but it is a bigger handle. Getting my hand in there. It's got a ring. Do you put your finger in there? Do you? It does. I like the way that that ring goes up when I grab on my hand. Everyone's hand fits a little different, but my index fits in there nice. And then this kind of rides out, so it becomes like a little bump that your hand, when you kind of pull against that, it kind of keeps it in. That feels good. All right. Kaiser Kabox. It's got a D2 uh, blade right there. It says D2, got the Kaiser on there, and then the maker's mark and Kabox on, oh, out of focus, sorry, on that side. Nice and clean look. Full tang, one piece of D2 steel goes all the way through into this ring right here. Excellent. Okay, let's see what else is in the box real quick. Take this out. Oh, that was that little protective tip. Okay, got a nice cloth. Got the Kaiser info card right here with the really cool imagery they got on there. Thank you for choosing. Warranty, usage, care. Standard issue Kaiser stuff. Got some Kaiser stickers, as they always have. What are these in here? Oh, yeah. Real nice set of stickers in this one, huh? All right, nice foam at the bottom. And then we have, get that out of the way. We have the sheath. Clicks in there. That is solid. That is not moving at all. Double loop on there, so you could set this up a couple different ways through a belt, kind of scout carry, or you can hook a thing up and, I don't know, options. So it's got that nice big thumb ramp. Push, pop that out of there. Wow, that clicks in tight. Boom, there it is. All right, let's look at the knife. Let's look at the knife. What do we think? Who likes a fixed blade? I am enjoying them more and more. I've been picking several of them up as of, oh, now I'm losing everything, as of recently. Um, okay, so we got that D2 steel, has a nice micarta handle, really, uh, oh, I like this micarta. Kaiser has great micarta, it just has a good feel to it. This one um, is a rough cut, so it's got that that nice texture to it that feels good, nice and grippy. That little spot, you can get your index finger in. Oh, this, this, it feels really good in the hand. A couple of jimps on there. Uh, you know me. You already know I'm going to say, give me more jimps. Although there is no choke up spot because you really are right up to it. There's a little, 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 little uh, sharpening choil right there, but basically. 
that's as far up as you go. So with that, those jimps do go way out. My long thumb, I get out here like this, that's about as far as I'm gonna go. So I am actually sitting on those jimps. That's not bad. But if you're doing something like this, a couple jimps up there. This knife feels great in my hand. It's definitely larger. I don't know about this ring, if you would, I guess in a this kind of a posture, that feels all right, but generally I don't think I would use that ring per se. If anyone does have any um, thoughts on that ring, if you would um, use that, putting your anything through it for any particular type of use, I don't know. I know sometimes they'll use that for tying things off or doing some bushcrafting types of things. So that might be more what its intended use is. Um, handle is pretty much flat across the sides, um, but it has a little contour on those edges to give it that nice kind of curved, just enough so it's comfortable right around in here. They finish that off nicely, and I really like the way that that index finger spot just curls in a little tighter. It's got a good feel to it. There's a little contour on both sides right there going into that blade. You got that kind of fuller groove on there. What's everyone think about this one? Enjoy? Hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Does feel nice in the hand though. I really, I've, the several of the fixed blades I've gotten lately are smaller ones. Nothing wrong with that. This one's got a little bit more beef to it, to the handle, and just the blade itself is pretty wide and thick. It feels good though. So it might not be as much of a pocket EDC, but you never know. I mean, it's people who carry fixed blades, sometimes they're going to daily carry a fixed blade even bigger than this. So I guess that's, that's up to a personal preference. As I was looking at fixed blades, I was kind of looking at smaller ones for kind of a daily carry situation. Um, this could fit into that though. I mean, especially with this clip, it's not really for a pocket, but you could scout carry that, like I said, on the side, on your back, right, you know, parallel to your belt like this. And you can reach behind you for that grab. What does everyone think? How would you carry this? Would you daily carry something this size? Comment below. Let's get a couple little close-ups here. Nice design, nice shape. I'm not always a big fan of the ring. Um... This case, it's it doesn't really, I don't mind it so much because there's the ones where it's like it's designed like a cram, but or something where it's designed for your finger to go in it. I, it's just not uh, not my style or my comfort zone as much as without a ring. Although in this case, you know, I don't mind it. It's cool. And like I said, for some bushcrafting type of things for tying this off or something, that might actually come in very handy. Um, if anybody does anything with that ring like that, uh, let us know. Tell us about it. All right, let's see what we are looking at here. Over eight, about eight, and eh, just over eight. I'm gonna give it an eight, about right on the money. Blade is three and a quarter straight back to that first point, but because it goes to there, you could say it's three and three quarters and three and a half inches on the cutting surface with a nice curve on the belly. Um, handle, here straight to the back is four and a quarter, there straight to the back is four and three quarters. If you kind of angle that, it's, you know, you'd probably call that handle about a four and three quarter handle with the ring. Okay, blade thickness, 0.12. And handle 0.47, widest spot right here, an inch, but then the blade actually gets 1.32. So we've got a little bit wider blade going on there. Let's do my standard comparison. I put everything up against the CJRB Pyrite, really nice button lock EDC daily using kind of a knife. If you're interested, <clears throat> I check one out. Um, I do have affiliate links for Kaiser and CGRB and some others down below in the description. If you go on to one of those and you make a purchase, it does help support the channel. Much appreciated. 
All right, but yeah, the uh, handle is a little bit longer and the blade is a little bit longer on the Kaiser over that pyrite, so it's kind of more close to about a full size knife. Um, I do have a few fixed blades that I've grabbed before. I have the Kaiser Groom, which is definitely kind of more of a smaller, like I said, some of the knives I've got, I'm gonna show you here, we're now, or we're more on the looking for uh, in the pocket kind of a carry. And uh, this one kind of fits into that a little bit more. You can see with that choke up spot right there, definitely a smaller kind of a profile in the hand. Oh, maybe be on camera there, Dan. Smaller little fit in that hand right there. And if you look the length, it's, it's definitely, oh, that's all a inch and a half shorter. Definitely a smaller offering. Uh, I've got that big kind of triangle ring on the back that's about the same size but then the handle is easily an inch shorter inch and a half shorter from here to there blade um, blade is only about a quarter inch shorter and the cutting surface the same because it's got that more that little bit more of that curve versus this is a little bit straighter on there but the groom is a nice one for going right in the pocket when I put this one in the the sheath I can put this right into one of my pockets and then it kind of locks in right there and you can kind of go like this and now it's out of my pocket and I can put it back into my pocket and, and the sheath basically stays there. Kind of a nice little feature. Another one, the same kind of deal. This is a Kubi Quaken. Another one that I picked up for that kind of more of a EDC kind of a daily uh, fixed blade that I wanted to test out. Also, if I put them end to end, you can tell it's about that inch and a half, almost shorter handle. Handle is about the same if you get rid of the ring on the Kabox. And then the blade is about a half inch shorter on this little Kubi Quaken. But tell me that's not a nice little thin, small daily carry. Same kind of a thing. I put this in my pocket and it just boom, that pops out and you got just that much sticking out of your pocket. Easy to find that, get it back. <laughs> Can't find it when I'm on camera. Uh, get her back in that sheath, but a uh, nice little daily carry. I've carried a few times, fun little knife, right? And see a little bit more jimps going out there. I like that, I like that a lot. All right, what am I missing here? I think we're, we're getting it figured out. Yep, this is gonna be a prize for someone or is already a prize. Um, thanks again to Ken Fixed for donating another really sweet Kaiser for the giveaway. Very fitting knife for the channel. You know I love my Kaisers. Um, yeah. Who has one of these? How do they feel about it? They've been using it. Comment below. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.